Number 1. Bag Square. Getting its name from a long since lost hotel which once hosted such famous names as George Washington and Ulysses S. Grant, the Bag Square neighborhood grew up alongside Utica's booming textiles industry of the 19th century, and this is reflected in many of the buildings, which feature classic architectural touches from that era. Number 2. Hotel Utica. This historic building, which dates back to 1912, was reopened in 2001 following public restoration. Today, it is run as a doubletree by Hilton Hotel, but its period architectural delights, exemplified by its lobby, are an impressive feast for the eyes. Pay a visit and you might be able to picture yourself catapulted back in time to a period when everyone from Judy Garland to President Roosevelt was among its famous guests. Number 3. Erie Canal State Park and New York State Barge Canal Following the route of the Erie Canal and the NYS Barge Canal, this popular biking trail follows the old towpaths for parts of the journey. Parts of the original canal date back more than 200 years, though the enlarged Barge Canal came a century later and splits from Erie Canal to the west of the town of Rome, before snaking its way all the way to Oneida Lake through the farming countryside. Number 4. Aquavino Restaurant. Sticking with the canal system now, this time part of the Erie Canal, the Utica Marina is a historic building which sits right on the waterway and today enjoys its use as a banquet hall and multi-purpose facility. Speaking of which, the lower level of the two-story structure is home to its own restaurant, the Aquavino, and patio, seating from which to enjoy the waterside setting while enjoying a bite to eat. Number 5. Union Station. Another magnificent example of fine period architecture now. Utica's Union Station dates back more than a century and boasts beautiful marble-style columns and lofty vaulted ceilings that make it feel almost like a cathedral to transport. Still functioning as a railway station, there's every chance you may well pass through it on your travels. Number 6 Utica Public Library. Located in another of Utica's charming period architectural delights, the City Library building dates right back to the very earliest years of the 20th century. This large building features an extensive library catalog, alongside everything from a children's reading room on the main floor to a genealogy room should your journey plans include a little research into your family history. Number 7 Utica Marsh Wildlife Management Area Sat on the edge of the city, and next to the Mohawk River, the Utica Marsh Wildlife Management Area's array of wet meadows, open water marsh and reed grasses make it a must-see spot for birdwatchers and fans of nature. Extending to more than 213 acres, it boasts a range of trails and boardwalks, as well as two observation towers from which to enjoy the landscape and the resident and migrating birdlife. Number 8 Proctor Park Proctor Park is considered one of the finest open spaces in the city. The 62 acres, 25 hectares, F.T. section is well known for its open views and country vibe, while the latter is no small part by its array of trees, which range from maples to red oaks. Number 9 Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute Fans of impressive art will almost certainly find their way to the striking modernist edifice of the Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute. Its striking walls contain pieces from more than 300 years of the U.S. art scene, including such world-famous figures as Andy Warhol, Jackson Pollock, and Georgia O'Keeffe. Number 10 Utica Zoo A fixture of Utica for more than a century, the popular zoo, which is actually owned by the city, extends to more than 40 acres, 16.2 acres, and houses nearly 100 different species ranging from hyenas and lions to wallabies, zebras, emus, and even Chinese alligators. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.